Okay, let's jump in. Um, before we jump into the nose, we put a subdivision surface modifier on last time. I'm not gonna have it on the cage. I'm gonna turn my cage off and I'm gonna turn the, uh, the edit mode off. I don't wanna see it yet. If you have it on, then it can, it can hide the vertex that you're trying to manipulate. So let's hit three. So with face select selected, and we're gonna have these four faces and then go up three more and just extrude out along the Y. Here we go, we can bring this out, we can bring this in. And then this is, these shapes here are obviously going to be our nostril. We can grab these in, bring this down. Let's take this one and bring this down a little bit. Let's grab these, we'll grab these back on the Y axis. We'll grab these, move these back on the Y axis, and we'll grab these. Okay, not a bad first pass, all right? And you can see the nose take shape, all right? Everybody save your work. Here, you know what we can do? Let's build out the nostril. Okay, and we'll do that with, uh, here, let's go to edge select, so hit two to hit edge select. Uh, let's extrude and enter and then scale it, scale that in. Okay, now let's kick into solid mode. And with our face mode selected, let us, whoop, let's delete this. Let's X that out and we'll delete the faces. And with vertex mode selected, we can, you know, you can shape, you are free to shape your nostril however you want, okay? And then extrude and just bring it up, right? So now if we look under the nose, you can see exactly where we were going. You can kind of angle that in, scale that in, grab like that, and then just hit F, and that closes it off, okay? So that's just a super easy way to make a nostril. Okay, let's start the eyeball. Let me just kick into wireframe mode and see how we're looking so far. I can see we're a little higher than we need to be. So let me just drop this down like that and then bring these down over here like that. This is okay for now. Okay, so in object mode, um, I wanna come over here first and in my modeling collection, um, this is called head. We've got our head, and let's add an eyeball. So let's go uh, Shift A, Mesh, and then UV Sphere. And there's a giant UV Sphere, which is obviously massive. Um, if I hit Numpad 7, I go into Top View, I can see this is the part that is going to be our uh, our pupil and our iris and, and everything else is going to be the whiteness of our eyeball. So we want to rotate this. Um, and if I zoom out... We can go rotate. Uh, what do you, what, guess, guess the axis. Just try Z. <laughs> I said Z and I hit X. Rotate on the X axis at 90 degrees and then hit enter. And that points it directly to you. If you have numpad one selected, you're in front view. Now this is gonna be the pupil of our eyeball and it's gonna be staring you right in the pupil of your eyeball. Uh, let's scale this down because it's massive, it's enormous. And uh, let's kind of fit it right where the eyeball looks. And if you want to see where the other eyeball is, you can just kind of go here, right? I mean, that's still probably a little bit big, so we can scale that down. Okay. And then if I come in here in the side view, I can see that it's still, it's way outside my head ball. So let's grab it on the Y and bring it in. Okay. So uh, there you go, simple as that, done and done, you got an eyeball. Um, let's right click and shade that son of a gun smooth and now, uh, now we can't really see the geometry unless we're in wireframe mode, then we can see, then we can see our geometry. Um, also, we wanna make sure that our collections are neatly named so we know, uh, so we can look at this and at first glance know exactly what we're looking at. So we're gonna make, we're gonna call that eyeball and uh, we're, all, we're gonna give it a mirror modifier. Um, same thing as we did last time. And you might not see anything. 
this time. And the reason you don't see anything um, is because there's more than one object in our environment. Okay, if there was only a single object like there was the first time we used it, Blender knows exactly what to do um, and just says, okay, no problem, you guys. I know, I know, I know where you're going with this. And, uh, and I'll make this mirror onto the, the only thing in our workspace. But we have more than one object now. So you have to tell Blender what we want to mirror. So come down here where it says mirror object and click it. And you can see it gives you a bunch of different options. If you want to um, click the eyedropper, then you can come over here and select. And just click your head. And you're telling Blender, hey, mirror, use our eyeball take our eyeball and mirror it around the head. Okay, so it kind of parents it in a way. And obviously we want clipping to be on. And now with our eyeball, let's build out uh, the eyelid. But before we do that, what are we gonna do? That's right, we're gonna save our work. Eyelids give a lot of people a lot of trouble because they're very um, revealing, right? You can tell if someone's tired or wired or um, you know, a burn victim. There's just a lot of different ways you can go with eyelids. Um, one thing I want to do is I want to bring this eye in. I don't think we've done a good enough job of bringing the bringing the eye socket in. So let's grab that on the y-axis just a scotch. Okay. So there's now there's now there's some eye cavity happening. And first thing we can do um, to build out this eyelid is ooh, I might have a duplicate vertex right there. So let's select everything and uh, let's let's just clean up our, yep, exactly. So we, we merge by distance, we remove one vertice. So we had a, I had a duplicate vertex and we don't want that. So with our eye loop selected, let's E to extrude and just pull that back in. Okay, we'll pull that back on the Y and that's all we're doing is we're creating, essentially we're just creating uh, the eye cavity. Just in case this seam doesn't match perfectly with our eyeball, we can turn our eyeball back on and where before you would have seen, you know, a hollow head, you don't see that anymore. So that's, that's step one. And then step two, let's add another loop cut here. Okay. And this, this is going to be what gives the illusion uh, of, of depth to our eyelid. So then we can just, we're just grabbing one by one here, you know what? And let's get, let's get one more going like that. And then let's grab it on the Y and bring it out. Okay. And we just, you know, this is just, this is a lot of this is a matter of taste. You guys, it's like how, how high up do you want your, your eyelids to go? Do you want them to go up very high? Not that high. Okay, and you can see we you got a you got kind of a you've got an eye happening. It's all pretty subtle. Um, and if it's if you're starting to look too jagged or too wonky, what we can do is use our favorite tool, and we can just relax those. Okay, and see what that does. Okay, not bad. Okay, I like that. You know what? I'm I think I'm gonna pull my I think I'm gonna pull this eye socket in just a scotch before we move on. Just keep it a little more like that and then maybe like that um, and you can see how just raising the brow line just makes them look even at a neutral uh, standpoint just looks a little bit happier but we've muddied up our eyeball so with edge select selected let's grab this and pull this out and then where else do we maybe on the inside of the eyeball a little bit as well okay Let's see how that looks with our subdivision service modifier and without. Um, not bad, you guys. Overall, not bad. Let's uh, let's draw this neck out a little bit more. Let's extrude that like that. And then we will come here. So we'll go vert 1, vert 2, vert 3, vert 4, and we'll go face. Nice face right there. It's a fun one. We'll bring this in a little bit on the X. And then maybe one more. Just 
to see how that feels. And then let's connect those guys. There we go. So if you hit control seven, you get underneath. And then let's You know what I want to do to this? I want to relax those sons of guns. There we go. Okay, and now we're ready to we're ready to extrude. Um, we're ready to extrude the neck. Um, if your eyelids aren't perfect, and for a lot of you they're not. I mean these these aren't perfect, right? They're they're it's a stylized eyelid. It's enough to suggest the illusion of an eyelid. And if anybody comes in and says that doesn't look like a real eyelid, well, it's like it doesn't look like a real person. Man, it's a stylized character. And uh, you're, if you're, if that's what you're focused on, then you're focused on the wrong thing. So I don't mind saying that uh, in your presence and to your face. And that said, in the next one, we're going to build out uh, the ears. And then we'll build out the neck and the body. Um, so get up, get a bend, get a stretch. And we'll see you in the next one.